today is launch a three-part series. It's actually, we're going to have kind of large spaces in between each part. But we're going to deal with this idea of maturity. What in the world does maturity look like? And it, it's something that everybody deals with. So there's nobody in this room, including adults, who are going to go, got it all nailed. Totally good. What else you got? All right. So there's going to be uh, things for, for everyone here. In terms of maturity, here's what we mean. What is it? What, it, what does it mean? Why does it matter? And then ultimately, what does it look like in junior high and beyond? Like, what, what, what do we do with this? And we want to be real specific as we go through this series to say, here's, here's some things that we should be shooting for. Here's some things that we should be striving for. So here are our goals for the series. Figuring out, and this will actually start today, how, how mature am I right now? Where am I right now? And we'll, I'll spend the next few minutes kind of giving you some things to think about uh, along that. And you'll actually finish today kind of assessing your own level of maturity at this point. Second, to provide some practical ways to grow. It's not just, hey, figure it out. It's here are some things to think about. Here are some attitudes to have so that you don't end up on TV someday not getting ready for school, pitching a fit, or we're getting dressed. That shouldn't be a life challenge for you. Shouldn't, shouldn't be an issue. And then finally, to reflect and respond in any situation. As you get older, you make more and more decisions on your own. One of the things that, that senior parents, parents of seniors in high school right now, are excited slash nervous about, they realize, my kid is almost ready to leave the house in some ways for good. Are they ready? Are they going to be able to handle all this independence and all these decisions and all these new challenges and situations? That, that's a scary thing, right? And you'll get through it, but that's a, that's a big deal. So here's where I figured that we're talking to two people here, two sets of people. There are some of you where it's like, hey, you know what? It, it's time to get serious. Okay, but I mean get serious, I don't mean it's time to be 50, but it's time to take a real step up in maturity. Others of you are already on that path, you're doing a great job, keep going, keep going. And for you it may be just one area, it may be a bunch of areas. I don't know, you're going to have to do some self-reflection in this to figure out where you fit in all this. But there's either kind of a, hey, let's get with it, or good job, keep going element, that's really important. So, what we're trying to do here is to say this. Maturity is something that we grow into, and childishness is something that we're trying to grow out of. And in certain cases, it doesn't happen on its own. There are a lot of adults out there who are very childlike in their mentality. And they struggle in relationships, they struggle in their jobs, they struggle as parents, they struggle, you name it. Okay? It's, a, it's a big deal. So. Let's, let's, let's read a little bit here about what we mean. We're going to take the first steps towards saying, okay, what, what are we talking about here with maturity? So it says, a person grows up when he or she learns to take responsibility for her actions. His or her actions. So you've got to own it. And stops behaving as if the world revolves around him or her. So you've got to own it and you realize it's not about me. Many people never truly grow up because they constantly blame others for everything bad that has happened in their lives. One of the telltale signs of childish people is it's never their fault. At some point you realize, you know what, it probably is my fault, what am I going to do about it? Or they expect everyone and everything in their world to conform to their point of view. Because if it's about me, then everything needs to ultimately filter back to me. And part of maturity says, you know what, it's not about me. Not always going to get my way. Things aren't always going to go my way. People who are grown up will suck it up and pay the price. Even if they get caught breaking the law, even if it's just a speeding ticket, while those who are not grown up will try to find any and every way to weasel out of it. People who are mature, if they make a mistake, they say, you know what, I'm sorry for what I did, what do I need to do differently? People who are childish say, you know what, I'm really just sorry that I got caught. So I'm just going to work harder to not get caught next time. I'm not going to change my behavior, I'm just going to try harder to not get caught. People who are grown up will give and don't always expect to get. But those who are not grown up will always ask, what's in it for me? So what you see here, people who are mature or maturing, first of all, you just take responsibility for your actions and choices. You just own it. 
Second, you see past yourself. They see past themselves and their current situation. So it's not about me right now all the time. They take their medicine. What's this mean? They accept consequences. Sometimes you're going to get consequences. I remember the first speeding ticket I ever got. I've only gotten two as a driver. The first one I ever got, it happened, took 2 o'clock in the morning. I was 19 years old. I was home for the summer in college, and I was going way over the speed limit. And there were only two cars on the road at this time, myself and a police officer. And he pulled me over, and he gave me a ticket, and I was so mad. I was so mad because I thought, nobody else is on the road. Who cares how fast I'm going? I'm not a danger to anybody. I know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm 19. I'm brilliant, right? So I know what I'm doing. Here we go. And so I had to tell my dad, right? I had to tell my dad, and uh, that was hard because mom, mom wasn't as scary. Dad was, dad was a little scarier. And so I was all ready to make my case. And I talked to dad, and I'm like, it was so stupid, and the cops this, and the cops that. And he goes, he goes, what's the speed limit? I said, 55. How fast were you going? 80. <laughs> and he goes, so what's your question? <laughs> so in a few words, my dad just hammered my point. He's like, hey, you know what? You don't want a speeding ticket? Don't drive 80. It's not hard. And I realized right then and there, he's right. It wasn't the cop's fault. Cop's doing his job. I'm going 80. I didn't need to go 80. So whose fault was it? It was mine. And that was a turning point to me in terms of mentality. Guess what? It wasn't the cop's fault. It was my fault. So you don't want a ticket? Drive better. And you don't have to worry about it. And finally, people who are mature seek to give. What can I offer this situation? People who are childish don't accept responsibility because they're too busy blaming everybody else. How can it be my fault? Well, like I said, at some point you realize it probably is your fault. If it's about me, then we should do it my way. You'll see as you get older, life is more about team. Life is more about we. People who hold on to this mentality of me, me, me struggle to make friends. They're not good employees. They're not good friends. They're not good spouses. They're not people you want to be in groups with. Why? Because at the end of the day, this is about me, not you. That wears people out. This is a big one. Childish people quit when it gets hard. One of the hallmarks of maturity is perseverance. Guys, stick it out. Because life is never going to be super easy. Certainly not all the time. So you've got to stick it out. And finally, this idea of what's in it for me. People who are childish are motivated by rewards. So what's in it for me? What do I get out of this? Versus people who are mature say, what can I give? Which doesn't mean if you get a reward that's somehow bad, right? In the name of maturity, I, I, I request, uh, you know, no rewards. No, I mean, if something's offered, sweet, take it. But that's not your motivation. That's not what we're trying to do, all right? This is 1 Corinthians 13, 11. First half of 1 Corinthians 13 is the love chapter. The second half starts with this. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But, well, babe, we don't expect a lot out of babies, okay? We don't look at a two-year-old and go, grow up, right? We're like, you're two, right? But it's when you're 12 and you act like you're two, that's a problem. Now that I've become a man or an adult, I'm done with childish ways and have put them aside. At some point, you make a decision, I'm going to start to grow up. I'm going to own it. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to become less self-centered, more others-centered as I, as I go. So in terms of our first step, here's where we're going to go, and I'll tell you how this is going to work. You're going to go back in a few minutes to your team time room and do the following. You're going to get a sheet that looks like this. First thing I want you to do is put your name on it. Spelling is optional but preferred. You should be okay with this, all right? So just kind of get off, get off to a good start. So you're going to put your name on it. And then I took these four qualities, which I just had on the screen with the diagonal slide, on there. And I want you to evaluate your, I'm going to step here and call it good, your current level of maturity or childishness, all right? So I got a scale of 1 to 10, 1 is low, 10 is high. So how well do you do in your whole life, not just school, school, home, friends, teams, extracurriculars, church, wherever you are, how well do you do at taking responsibility for your actions? Folks, you got to be honest here. You're not going to share this with anybody, okay? We're not going to make a PowerPoint slide out of it. How well do you do at taking responsibility? Is your first response typically, no, but, uh, or is it, that's me? 
Where are you in that? So if you're somewhere between 1 and 10, okay, somewhere between 1 and 10, put a number. Maybe it's overall, maybe I'm a 4, maybe I'm a 6. Right? This isn't hard science, but it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a ground level measurement of what we're going to do. And then I'd like you to at least try to put an example or two from your life. So you should be past this, I don't know, it just felt like a 5. Based on what? Or you could think of it this way. If we asked your parents and your teachers and your friends, what rating would they give you? Because I found that people are either, they go to extremes. They're either way too easy on themselves or they're way too hard on themselves. So think about, okay, what would my parents say? What would my friends say? What would my teachers say? Try to think of it that way. So you'll go through each of those four. Your team time teacher will then keep this. They'll actually dismiss you from team time today. They're going to keep this. At the end of the series in May, we'll come back, we'll take a look at it. We'll do another one say, okay, how am I doing? Where am I growing? Where do I need to work on things? Because again, we're all working on something. We're all trying to mature. Life never hits a cruise control point and you just go, sweet, I'm golden. I'll just ride the wave. There's always something you're going to work on.